Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Plans with Amanda. In this video, we're decorating my vertical catch-all happy planner for the week of July the 10th through the 16th. I am sorry that I've missed a couple of weeks. We had our vacation. Um, it's just taking me a little bit to get back in the routine of things. So I'm um, excited to pull the spread together today. We're gonna be using uh, Chic Summer from Live Love Posh. I actually used this last week. Um, on the spread I back planned after I got back from vacation. I'll show that to you guys before we get through with the video. But um, I wanted to back plan um, a couple of weeks so that I could fill in my vacation and everything that we did on that. And then also um, the 4th of July week. And so I'll show you guys those spreads when we get done with this one. But let's go ahead and pick up where we're at July 10th through the 16th. And um, like I said, Chic Summer uh, from Love Love Posh. I believe this sticker book is still available. Um, I will have the shop linked below as usual. It is my affiliate link. So if you use that, thank you so much. Use my code Amanda 10 to save 10% on anything in the shop except for posh boxes. We are using this fun beachy, not beachy actually, I guess it could be, but just summery stickers. Um, love the cute little floats there and then the flowers match and then there's some boxes. So I think we're gonna keep it simple today and try to pull everything from this sticker book. So let's go ahead and get started. I think I'll go in with some flowers to start with just because they're bigger. And I'm gonna use the paper flowers. Uh, this sticker book, a lot of the, most of the pages have a paper version and a clear version on the stickers. Um, so we're gonna pull the paper flowers in. I'm not sure about the other artwork. I'm gonna bring this in right down here to cover up these little ice cream cones so that we don't have to worry about any white out. That kind of is a good spot anyway. I like that. So I was trying to pull these off my scissors as I was cutting to keep the little scraps in case we wanted to use them. Sometimes that is easier than easier uh, than other times. All right, that's crooked. I don't know what I was trying to do. I should have turned it this way. There we go. Okay, that's really pretty. Um, I think we need to have some flowers up here somewhere. So let's go in with this one. And I think I'll just kind of bring it up on this edge, kind of like I did over here. Um, sometimes I keep the flowers, you know, inside the boxes. Sometimes I like to go outside the boxes. So I think we're gonna bring this one in kind of right. Let's do right there. All right. Lots of little scraps over here building up. Okay, so let's go in with some boxes now. And I think these colors are gonna be fine. The bright, the yellow is a little bit bright. I don't really love that. Mm, let me look at the other stickers here. So yeah, the, the yellow's still a little bit bright, but the green works really well and the pink is good. Maybe I will, and I've got the yellow already on here, so maybe I'll just skip the yellow and just go with the pink and green. Let's do that. I think I want to bring in a couple of checklists also. We've got, a, our, I have another trip coming up the end of this week and that's sneaking up on me. So let's go ahead and put a couple of checklists in. These are usually pretty helpful for, you know, getting stuff ready for stuff like that. So maybe we could do, we'll do a checklist up here. And then I'm just gonna keep them going through the spread and then that way if they're already there and we'll just decorate around them. And 
Saturday is the day I leave out, so I don't think I want to do a checklist on that day. Um, so I'll put one on Friday too. Okay, that's good. Um, let's go in with um, a couple of boxes actually. So we'll bring a pink box in here for Wednesday. Maybe a, pink, a green box for Monday. And then I'm gonna pull in a big box on Saturday. Actually, I'm gonna bring it in on Sunday and then I'll do a smaller box layered with it. Maybe a pink one. All right, that works. Okay, let's go into some of the other decorative stickers and maybe fill in. I guess I'll stick with the paper since I went ahead with, with the paper florals. Um, I don't... Let's do... Alright, so I'm going to raise the corner of this sticker up and layer it with this one. Kind of like that. And then we'll bring the other one over to the other page. Maybe right down here and just layer it with the boxes. How about that? All right, I like the little beach bags and towels. I'm gonna bring that in here with the flowers, but that's a little bit crooked. That's cute. Okay. Alrighty. We have another set that maybe we could pull in down here somewhere. So I think maybe right here, but I'm gonna cut the edge and I can butt it up against this checklist. Hopefully that's straight, looks right. Oh yeah, that's cute. All right, so far so good. Um, let's pull in some of the smaller stuff we can um, kind of put in around with the other empty areas. I like the little um, snorkel gear. Okay. Before I put anything else down, I need to kind of figure out what I'm going to put up here. It's a little bit empty. Um, I do have some more flowers, so maybe we could do um, more flowers right up here before I put this down. Let's go in with this one. I'm going to cut it. The yellow flower too. It's a little bit big. Maybe upside down. Let's just try it and see.
Okay, that's pretty good. Um, so. I'm gonna let that hang out there for just a second. I'm not sure about that. Um, I don't really like how this bottom part's kind of um, how it turned out so I'm not sure if I'm going to use that or not so let's hang tight I do want to clean off this little bit no it's fine I'm going to leave it alone okay um, I think I want to put in a couple more boxes and maybe layer in some little smaller boxes with the ones I've already got so like kind of like this or not layer but group maybe And then let's go ahead and bring in another another box for up here. All right, I like that. And then I think we're pretty much done with that. I think I want to grab some of the smaller little uh, decorative stickers to kind of fill in a little bit more, maybe kind of like that. Little sunglasses are cute if I don't tear them up. <laughs> All right, we can like put those there. Whoop, not quite right there. And I'm tearing them up. Goodness gracious. Okay, we'll see if we can make these work. Okay, that's pretty good. We're gonna let those go. Almost tore them up. <laughs> Little hat right there. Okay, wait a minute. There's um, there's some smaller uh, snorkel gear, but I don't. I think I like this here. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and trim it. Okay, there's little man. Whoops. Excuse me, buddy. He is getting in the way. All right, buddy, keep going. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right, um, and then you have a little bit of cat hair drop <laughs> every time. All right, let's go with another hat. Maybe just right there. Another thing we haven't done is some quotes. Actually, I don't like that there. So I'm gonna pull that up and then we're gonna find some quotes. So we have Summer Vibes is cute. not liking this hat here either for some reason. I think it just needs to be kind of tucked up in just a little bit more. That's better. And I don't really know if I want any more of the quotes. I like that quote, but now it kind of just stands out on its own. I need something else. Maybe we'll just use this live in the sunshine. And honestly, I think this one would probably go better right here and then this one could fit better on this side. So let's switch them. Okay, that's better. And then on this one, I think I like it right here. 
even though it's kind of directly across from this one, I think it fills in the space nicely. So we're gonna go with that. I think we're about done. Let me glance one more time through the stickers and then see if there's anything else we wanna use or flowers maybe. Um, we've got leaves here and all these scraps. So let's maybe pull in some of the scraps just to kind of fill in. Hold on to that one for a minute and then maybe bring in a couple of the, these little pink scraps on the side of this box here. I'm going to trim a little bit of the white off so these kind of go together a little bit better. That's good. Right. Does it need anything else? I feel like it needs something right through here. So, not that. <laughs> so maybe this one, but we'll cut it in half on the other side of this checklist. like that and then we'll save this I don't guess we need to use it right now I'm thinking maybe this right here layered with this box just a little bit just to add a little bit more of the greenery and then I can punch it I just use my Cropodile uh, disc power punch you can get these pretty much anywhere um, craft supplies are sold, Amazon. I think it's linked in my description box though um, all the time. So um, it's an Amazon link. So it is an affiliate link if you use it. Um, just be uh, transparent with you guys. I like to let you know anytime things are affiliate or if there are or not affiliates. Um, but just don't be scared of affiliate links though because um, they don't cost you anything extra. They only just give the uh, content creator a s very small commission so um, affiliate links aren't bad so <laughs> and I appreciate it anytime you guys use my links very much so um, I have this one leaf I don't know if I want to use it maybe I do kind of to fill in over here um, with these leaves that we've kind of I mean that could be cute let me raise that corner up And then trim off some of the white because I want it to kind of go right up next to that pink flower. Let's see if we can make this work. Kind of like that. Okay, I like that. Okay, um, I think we're done. I really like how it's turned out. Let's go ahead and put it in the planner. Um, we are Franken planning because these pages are from my planner, Life's a Party planner that I'm using this year. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and stick this side in. This page is going to franken plan to the neutral pages I used last week. So let's do that real quick and then I'll show you my spreads from the cu last couple of weeks. Uh, let's see. I used my Tombow Mono Adhesive uh, Tape Runner to um, put some adhesive on the page. Whoops. Sometimes it doesn't like to disconnect, but if you give it a, a little twist, it's fine. 
um, anyway, I just run my tape runner through um, around my page and then I lay this down as best as I can to line it up with the page under it. And there you go. So here's our spread for this week using Chic Summer from Live Love Posh. Um, but also using Chic Summer, I created last week's spread, not on film. I just did this to catch up because I like to have all of my planner spreads done. And I was on vacation the week before this, and it's just been a really busy week getting back to work and everything. And so I also used the Chic Summer uh, 4th of July stickers. Um, and with Mojo Jojo Plans Summer Boxes 2.0, it has this little holographic um, stars and everything on these boxes and I thought it'd be fun to mix those so that was good and then the week before that um a vacation week you guys <laughs> I'm slacking but just bear with me um I also used a live love posh sticker book this was the week I was actually on vacation um and I wanted to go ahead and back plan and I've made some notes and what I want to fill in on here because I took notes of every day of what we did and so I'm going to go back and fill these uh, weeks in and um, that, um, but I wanted to show the spreads to you guys. This sticker book was, I think, from Beach Babe, which is also Live Love Posh. Let me check. Yes, Beach Babe. So Beach Babe and Chic Summer or what I've used for the past few weeks. Um, so this was my vacation week. This was, I don't have my monthly done yet. You guys, I'm really struggling these days, but it's okay. Um, it's, it's supposed to be fun. That's what it is. That's why I don't stress out too much over times so that I get a little bit behind. But um, anyway, this was last week, 4th of July week, and this is this week. So I'm looking forward to using this planner this week to get back in the swing of things. I'm going to be back planning in the other week. So let me know in the comments below if you guys ever have to back plan and if you do or if you just leave it blank or um, what do you normally do with your planners? Because I don't know very many people who are able to keep it up every single week for the long haul because um, sometimes you just don't have a chance to do what you want to do and play with stickers. But anyway, I hope you, uh, excuse me, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like this spread. If you do, give it a thumbs up if you don't mind. That helps my channel. And also subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to my channel. The button is in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. We'll see you next time. Bye.